Hey guys, Jay's here. Um, this is the follow-up to my recent video regarding the multiple players sleeping on a server. Um, essentially, I've done a lot of work on it, really cleaned it up and refined it. There's still one tiny issue, um, and that is being the add time. Now, I found a way how we could potentially uh, resolve it completely and make it perfect. Um, but for the purpose of what it is now, it is basically perfect. Um, I haven't had that issue where time skips over again. Um, so I've joined the game, it's only me online I'm afraid, but I can assure you I've done a lot of testing with Convict uh, and it does work. So if you see here, this is the sort of new layout, I do apologise about that. Uh, this is the new layout here, um, I've refined it a lot, no need for compatriots or anything, that was kind of screwing up the timing a little bit. Um, so what we'll do initially, I'm just going to add the scoreboard. Oh, wrong one, sorry. There we go. So this is the sleep objective we had before. Um, previously, I was sort of trying to make it more intelligent than what it needed to be. Um, so what we'll do, we'll advance time, give it a sleep. Now it says who's sleeping. Uh, and then once it ticks over, rise and shine. Um, and as I say, that works for anyone who's sleeping. What you will find is if two people sleep at once, you'll get multiple lines. The Jays is sleeping, Convict is sleeping, uh, etc. Uh, another thing, there was a small issue beforehand where if we were sleeping, then left the bed, uh, my sleep value would not reset, thus causing the next time I sleep to just be less time. I felt that was a bit hacky, so again, I've removed that. Um, now I'm sure you want to get into the command block, so let's start right away. Uh, if we start on this end, this is what makes sure that anyone that's not sleeping, their sleep score is zero. Um, again, I will paste all of these in the uh, in the description. Uh, and this one's a repeat, unconditional, and always active, so it just ticks. The next block along the chain uh, essentially does the opposite of that. So any player that's sleeping, it will add... Uh, or incur one to their sleep value for every tick. Now we start to get into the actual uh, commands, if you will. I mean, this block here, or this chain here, rather, is the, the main chain. Realistically, this is technically all you should need, uh, but I'd still recommend having all of them. So we start on testing for a score of 90 for the sleep. This is changeable. Um, by default, I think the game's 100. Um, since I'm the only player on the server at the moment, I've changed it to 90 just so I can ensure it's working. Uh, just an example, we'll change this to 10, let's say. So if you wanted something of a insta-sleep, if you will, uh, it's possible. So let's just do that. Make it night time. I think I've got it turned off. I'm not sure as to why that didn't trigger then, let's find out again. I think 10 is too low here, so let's just try 40. So as soon as I hit 40 on my sleep value, it should kick us out of bed. There we go. Yeah, I think 10 was just too low there. Um, so yeah, that's a changeable variable. Um, as I say, around, I reckon around 90 is a good value. Because um, you don't, you don't want them to sort of instantly sleep, it's not really worth it. So yes, that's the first command block. Second in chain would be to uh, minus two off the scoreboard. Um, so what this does, as I say, it will sort of balance it out for when it then does the rest of the, the calculation. Because if we didn't have this, uh, we'd remain minus two. I believe this to be a difference in game ticks and redstone ticks, essentially, that's causing that. The next block adds 13,000 hours or ticks to the time. Through my testing, it's either 13,000 or 11,000 that seems to work. I think this is going to be down to yourselves which works best. And I'm going to go on to a minute in my, my idea on how we could make this perfect. Um, I, I'm very confident it will work, but for now this is the best we've got. Uh, and then last in the chain, this just tells Raw, um, Rise and Shine. 
So as I say, this is the main chain here. This last chain just says which player is sleeping. Um, so I'm testing for a sleep score of 4. And then I'm essentially saying any player with a sleep score of 4, say, is sleeping. Again, it's not going to add 2. Um, the only way you'd be able to do that is if the two players slept at the exact same time. Then it would say the Jays and the Convict are sleeping. Uh, but in this case, you know, I don't, I don't really think it's necessary. You just want to be able to see who's sleeping, uh, if at all. Now, that's all the command blocks there. I will go through them once more again in a moment. But now let's go on to this idea I have. Uh, I'm going to change the scoreboard objective to time. So this is what I had, and let's, let's make this always active. Now, what I've got going is I had a stats block. Uh, what stats will do is essentially look at the output of a block and then add to a scoreboard that value. So I've got stats tracking the day. So if I do slash time query daytime you'll see time is 7358 as it was on the uh, objective there now if we and I'm just going to pause this temporarily um, so my idea essentially being if we calculate the difference between a full day uh, which technically I should have let's just press this button here and that should yep so if we have a full day being 24,000, uh, we calculate the difference between the ticks gone and the full day, thus yielding, uh, in this case, 16,404. That's how many ticks we need to add to the time to make it day again. What I'm trying to do is essentially grab that number and just do a time add and then that variable. I currently don't see a way of doing this yet, but this Minecraft with Redstone, there is a way. We'll do it. This is going to be the perfect way. Once I do get this, you guys will be the first to know. Um, and I think it will just be beautiful. You know, it will save having mods or anything like that. So, yeah, I mean, it's much more refined now. It works beautifully. Um, I think this is the much more preferred method. It's cleaner. Um, and as I say, you can hide the command blocks anywhere. So, without further ado, let's fully go through them. So, again, we start on this end. It's a repeating, unconditional, always active, and here's the command. Again, I'll paste this. Okay, the next one. This is where we then add to the uh, scoreboard objective. Again, repeat, unconditional, always active. The next in chain is what initiates the sleeping process. So we're testing for sleep of 90, and that's repeat, unconditional, always active. Then if that's true, we have a chain block here that's conditional and always active that just sets the scoreboard to minus two then we add 13,000 ticks to the game time again you can change this one um, a lot of these numbers can be changed as I've explained from my testing it's either 11,000 or 13,000 that works best uh, and then finally we just say um, rise and shine the last block again oh and sorry yes these are all chain conditional always active as you can see there the last one here again, test for a sleep score of 4, and this again can be changed, it could be anything you want. Uh, if you want to know the syntax of this test for, uh, we have this is essentially the max score, uh, and this is the minimum. It's best you just put both, otherwise you'll get the syntax error. And then the final one is it's just a tell raw um, to say that this player is sleeping. Again, I'll paste all of these in the description. I mean, I hope this has helped guys, I'm sorry it's sort of taken a couple of videos to fully explain the process um, you know I'm still new to 1.9 myself and these new command blocks uh, even the scoreboard for that matter it's something I've never really dabbled in uh, I do code in my free time you know Perl scripts and Java um, but sort of coding in game is a different concept to me and I'm just getting used to it so if you do have any support or anything please do you know help in the comments uh, but yeah I honestly hope this has helped I can tell you now it's definitely helped us uh, an exponential amount so yeah, and again, this server will be opening up soon. Uh, we can support up to 120 players. Uh, it's quite a beefy server. As I say, I did used to have one, um, but considering I was running it at home, uh, I didn't have a very good job at the time. I wasn't able to afford the electricity bill. So it turns out it's a lot cheaper to just rent a server. Um, so yeah, that's what we've got going on. And as I say, I'll post all those links in the in the description when if and when. But again, finally, take care, guys, and I do hope this has helped. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.